<clears throat> all right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekapadash. We want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will peace and blessing unto the Shaggy to push forward to the truth, to the four points of the earth. We want to say Shalom to your brothers, keep pushing. We the GMS lines of St. Louis camp, and another in the classroom session. And so tonight's uh, topic is going to be over what is Babylon the Great? Well, I'm entitled this Babylon the Great is America. Okay. And people are starting to see that now. You even got random people saying, yeah, Babylon, this Babylon, that. You got these these podcasters saying uh, Babylon and, you know, that's talking about women like they got uh, Cooley. Uh, no Fugazi podcast talking about Babylon this and quoting scriptures, which you know he's Israelite, but you know he's in that limelight. But to kind of we gonna uh, we're not gonna make this too too long, but gonna get straight to the point. And Lord's be edifying. So go ahead, rap. It's the Book of Revelation chapter seventeen. It says, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Right, so the great whore that sitteth upon many waters is where? America. It's who? The who, what, when, where, and why? America. Okay, the judgment <laughs> is why, because of the wickedness that it pushes. Okay, keep going. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and in the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Right, so the inhabitants of the earth, so that's all the the uh, other nations, okay? So you're made with the, made drunk, so off the, the what, the philosophies. So you got the alphabet people, okay, um, in which they got... New sexualities, talking about some is more than two genders. You know, like all these different uh, philosophies that's totally against the scriptures. The scripture says, "What male and female he made thee them," or in the book of Genesis. Okay, you got people they just covered in tattoos from head to toe. They basically look like demons. You got the 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 whites of their eyes tattooed black. All right, had that one nigga woman, she tattooed her eyes pink and blue, and she went blind for that. You know, it's judgment. You got people that's um, playing with tarot cards and re Ouija boards, just doing all type of madness and wickedness, man. Okay, you, you can pretty much do whatever you want, worship whatever you want, and have sex with whatever you want. <laughs> you know, eat whatever you want. It's pure madness. Keep going. So he carried me away in the spirit and into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, having uh, <coughs> full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Right. So that woman that's sitting on top of the that uh that dragon is who? Is what? Babylon. Babylon. It's America. Okay. And which uh the dragon, that's another topic, which that goes into what? The uh the EU. Alright, the U the European United Nations. Okay. Which are who? Edomites, according to the Bible. Alright. Keep going. And upon her forehead a name was written mystery Babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth right and this is in uh, all caps because when you add all these when you add it all up it equals what 666 and that's what the mark of the beast okay. all right which which basically means power when you go into numerology 666 means power all right keep going and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. All right, so he has said drunken with the blood of the saints because the children of Israel have been here for what? Well, starting off with the northern kingdom. They was here doing the, 
uh, Syrian captivity, okay, and Judah came over thousands of years later. So, Kanye, yeah, we've been over here getting slaughtered and killed <laughs> um, for what the last two thousand years, you know, since Yahweh Shai came on the earth. All right. And it says, when I saw her, I wanted with great admiration. Keep going. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carried her, which have the seven heads and ten horns. Right. So, yeah, and this is what uh, John the Revelator on the island of Patmos saw. He, you know, he saw America. He, he seen all that, you know. The angel revealed unto him. You know, he was seeing... Uh, the the big buildings and all that and yeah these great infrastructures okay keep going the beast that thou sawest and is that's like the beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition and so, they uh what's uh what what keep going I ask a question in a minute. Yeah. And they that dwell upon the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. Right, so the bottomless pit is what, I can Europe, Europe, yeah. Europe, yeah. Europe, yeah. Because they don't have any resources. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, that's where you get the virgin daughter of uh, Babylon. Keep going. And here is the mind which have wisdom, the seven heads of seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short state. Time. Go ahead, turn it on. Uh, verse 11. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into the district. Yeah. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. Yeah. And that goes into the uh into the EU. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Yeah. These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them, for he it is the Lord the Lord, and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Right, because Yahweh Shai, when, when he comes back, he has to uh, take out this uh, this uh, this beast system. Okay, so you got um, the ten horns, Jermaine, Major, Jermaine, Major, Major, France, uh, Britain, Rome, Greece. Okay. <coughs> I know I'm missing a couple, but this is off what I can name off my head. Spain, Italy, okay. Yeah, all these receive power because they, they all are part of the same system because America is just a reincarnated version of Rome, all right. Keep going. Verse 15. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations. Tongues. And the ten horns which thou saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. That's right, because all these other different nations, they're going to turn on um, America. Okay, you're going to have Great Britain shooting nukes over here. Okay. Basically, any place that has nuclear capabilities, they're all going to shoot them over here to the western part of the world okay and i think it was what what, what year was that when uh uh bricks basically uh cut the united states off when they like 2020 might have been 2019 but they but they no longer together all right they're doing their own thing now and everybody ditching the dollar and that's what it all boils down to is what that uh almighty dollar that Esau Edom lives by. <laughs> you know, he lives by the sword and the dollar. Okay. Uh, where are you at? You 17. at 17? Okay. Verse 17. 
For Yahweh has put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of, the, of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. Right. So, yeah, that's, that's a miracle. Because every single nation is here under the sun. All right. Go ahead, President. Uh, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, starting at verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. I answered, and Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for the appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, and will it will not tarry. Right. It's right. So yeah, it, hey, it's it's not tarrying. You know, you may think, oh Lord, you you taking too long or whatever. Like I, like how long, Lord? But really, shit is right at the doors. Okay. Cause this is what 2024 about to go into the election. Shit, we we right here, you know. Cause there is no like we was just talking about before the camera started rolling. There is no future here, you know. This place is done. It's finished. Okay, and it said make the vision plain upon table that he may run and read it. And we basically reading about the destruction of this place. Okay, and we right here. All right. Kind of on my head. Yeah. You know, the scripture said, you know, it will not tarry, but you also have to take that into consideration. It's for an appointed time. And right. that time was appointed by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay, the right. scripture says, um, don't don't count slackness how men count slackness. Um, I hate to butcher it. The Lord's not slack to serve his promise. Kind, kind, kind. You know, yeah. just because it's for an appointed time, men has a tendency to think, oh, it ain't coming. You know, like the scriptures say, the, the Lord delayeth his coming. Okay? But it's for an appointed time. And that's the thing you have to remember. Just because it's not happening now, it's for an appointed time. And yeah. the, the Heavenly Father not being slack. He making sure everything is is lined up together so when he bring the judgment it's justified you understand that's what i'm right. saying you know uh, that's, all, that's all i want to add all right pull this preset real fast while you had it about the show uh, when you, uh what's uh, that isaiah 46 and start at eight you know read that to 10. 46 8 okay this is the book of Isaiah 46, starting at the 8th verse. It said, Remember this, and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the, remember the former things of old, for I am God, power, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Right. De declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Right, he says, declaring the end from the beginning. Right, because the Lord, this is already mapped out about what was going to happen. You know, because like we all just, just plan out our roles, you know, Lord willing that we be a part of the elect. All right. We all just playing out our roles because the Lord already knows who's who. We already know who's evil, who's righteous, who's going to betray who, what's going to happen, if you're going to get delivered, if you got to give up your life. Okay? It's already mapped out. So, if you got to understand the type of power that you're dealing with. So, I mean, if that if that don't put fear in your heart, I don't know what, what will. So, you just have to just play it out and just ask, how about Shemir Shah for mercy? Because like, this truth is real. Like this, we actually see it happening. You know, and we gonna be shook up too. Even though we saying like, yeah, like destroy, destroy this place, Lord. But hey, when it happens, you can be like, damn, like we actually here. You know, that that guillotine right there. If you gotta go, or maybe the Lord, you know, gives you spiritual power. You don't know. So you gotta just gotta just roll with it. Kind if I could add something to that too. So 
when Yahweh Shah was on the cross, you know what I'm saying, getting crucified, he was like, uh, Father, Father, have you forsaken me? Yeah. And Yahweh Shah said, you know, uh, uh, is the servant greater than the master? Okay? So it's going to come a point that maybe some of the brothers think that they're going to go and catch it so much hell that they're going to think their Heavenly Father forsake them. Okay? We yeah. got to go through the same thing, too, just to add to what you were saying. Right. You know? That's all I had. That's right. Like, your mindset got to be whatever it takes. Uh-huh. That's how, like, Yahweh Shah, um, his mindset was, okay? Um, go ahead, continue on that. Uh, what was that? Verse yeah. three. Be at verse uh, four. John, and it says, Behold his soul which is lifted up, so I can behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarged his desire as hell and as death. They cannot be satisfied, but gather to him all nations, and he put unto him all people. Right, and who is this talking about? Esau, Esau. He's talking about Esau, Edom. Right. You know, the spirit is in Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is not right in him. He can't be right. He, he wasn't made like that. Like Jay say, oh, you ain't built for this. Esau, Edom, he's not built for righteousness. He's built for wickedness. Okay? And so he transgresses by wine. That's what? Philosophy. So whatever that's in your heart, that's what comes out. Okay? It says he is a proud man, neither keep it at home. Where's the so-called white man home? <laughs> Mount Seir. That's where his home is at. But he's all over trying to, uh, you know, uh, he's polluting the world and getting people to accept that type of philosophy. All right? All over in the Middle East. He's all in uh, Africa. He's o he's over there in uh, different parts of Asia. You know, got got uh, sodomite Filipinos. <laughs> You know, shit, they walk by the camp damn near every Sunday. All right? But God, uh, right, it says he cannot be satisfied because he, he always has a thirst for wickedness and thirst for, to corrupt something. All right? I got a precept to back that up, if you don't mind. Kind what you got? I got a Psalms 49 and 11. This is the book of Psalms, verse 49 and 11. It says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Okay? And that's where you get that high minded, lifted up spirit because they think they're going to last forever, right? And their dwelling place to all generations. Okay? They, 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 they got the best of places. Okay? Like the, like the scripture said, Job 9 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Okay? They think that they're going to dwell forever and that their children and children and children are going to dwell forever. They call their lands after their own names. Okay? So all the lands that they conquer, they call them after their name. Okay? Like Africa. Okay? America. Okay? Just to name a few. Okay? Right. So that's what the scripture is going to, just to back up what the brother was saying, you know. They, 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 their soul is not lifted up right in them. Okay? They're lofty, they're proud, okay? That's all I had on that. Okay. Keep going, verse 6. Okay. And it says, Shall not these take up a parable against him and a conti proverb against him, saying, Woe to him that increases that which is not his? Right. How long and to him that laideth himself with their clay? Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? Awake thou shall uh, sorry, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land of the city, and of all the all that dwell therein. Woe to him that covereth an evil covetousness to his house, 
Covetousness. Covetousness about you. What? To yeah. his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Thou hast counsel, counseled, uh, con consulted, consulted, consulted shall shame to thy house by cutting off many people and has sinned against thy soul. Right. Scripture says, well, Obadiah, thou art greatly despised. You know, because everybody know the history of you uh, Edomites and like what you did to the world, which especially what you did to the children of Israel. You you really messed up when you touched the apple of the Lord's eye. Okay, everybody know everybody know what you did doing to the food, you doing to the water, you doing to the air, you doing to the uh, the earth, you doing to the animals. Like damn, like what what. What part of the earth have you not touched? You know? Like, that's why the scripture says that no flesh should be saved. You know, if you was to continue doing your wickedness, all right, none of us would be saved. Like, we'd all be dead. I mean, we pretty much eating poison. Okay? Go ahead. Oh, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, starting at the 11th verse. It says... For the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and established a city by iniquity. Right, and that's how Esau Edom uh, got this uh, country, so-called America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the Holy Bible. All right, facts. He raped, murdered, robbed, lied, cheated his way into a whole country. All right. So kind. So it says, woe unto him. Keep going. Behold, it is not of the Lord Yahweh of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire and the people shall worry themselves for very vanity. That's right. This place is vanity. <laughs> like, you just working just to, you know, to live. Okay? Uh, the, the elites of Esau, Edom, they don't got to worry about that. They just, they just uh, land back and we're really piggybacking. I'm going to say it in an abominable way. These elites are piggybacking off the, uh, off the very people. Or especially the Israelites. Okay? Because we don't want to keep this society going. It's the Israelites. Keep going. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14. It says, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. Right. And we see that now. Because it, what? The truth that reached the four corners of the earth now. So now everybody knows. Okay? Even the people that's not doing uh, what Yahweh Bashmiah said knows, but that's the Lord giving them a chance before He comes back and destroy everything, including them. Because if they don't repent, then they're gonna be destroyed right along with them. Yeah, keep going. Okay, Habakkuk chapter two and verse fifteen. Right, it says, "Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink." That putteth the bottle to him, and maketh him drunken also, that thou mayest look it upon their nakedness. Right, well, when did the so good white man do that? He did it to uh, shit, my tribe specifically, Gad. You know? <laughs> Just um, allowing Gad to be in a docile state. Come on now. When Gad was all drunk and, and uh, naked. That, like that's when you did your wickedness, you know, killed them and went into the uh, uh, the villages and killed the women and children, burned it down. And right, that's the things that that you eat and did. Keep going. Verse sixteen: Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord Yahweh right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Right. 
Verse 17, for the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee, and the spoil of beasts which made them afraid because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Verse 18, what profited the graven image that the maker thereof had graven it? The molten image and a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusteth therein to make dumb idols. 19. Woe unto him that saith to the wood, Awake, to the dumb stone, Arise. It shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. Right. And just like... Uh... It's like this is this is the ancient world, but now you got that that damn demon, Yaval Harari. All right, it's talking about uh, AI is about to write the Bible. Okay, so now you know you how about Shmuel Shai gave Esau Edom this type of technology to uh, to like to basically go against you how about Shmuel Shai. Right, AI, artificial intelligence, which is basically just an artificial spirit, artificial demon. Keep going. Verse 20. But the Lord Yahweh is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. All right. Um, go to Isaiah 47 and 1. You had a precept? Mm -hmm. What you got? Uh, basically, uh, that Habakkuk 2 and 3, where it talks about, you know, the vision is made for a point of time. Uh, Ezekiel 33, verse 33. Uh, because uh, we are coming into that time where, you know, it ain't going to be no excuse for you people to say that no one warns you. This is uh, Ezekiel 33, I'm going to start at verse 33. And it says, and, then, and when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. When Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. Right. You know, these people would know that prophets have been among them this whole time, you know, because I'm quite sure brother can contest, like, you know, when you out in public, you know, you might drop a gem on somebody, you know, like, yeah, this is coming, you know, you just leave it at that, you know, you just trying to throw out that warning, you know, because that's the spirit of the Lord on you just to bring something out regardless, you know, so no one can have an excuse, you know, just like this lockdown, that Lord willing, it comes with this empty. POS, you know, hey, it's been talked about for years that another one is coming, you know, so just know that a prophet has been among you, and yeah. it said it will come to pass, right, come on, come on. Isaiah 47, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, but thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take thy millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. That's right. And this is uh, and this is twofold. This is, uh, Isaiah was during the time of uh, Nebuchadnezzar. All right, but this Babylon is it's talking about the ancient Babylon, the virgin daughter of Babylon, because the first Babylon was what Tower of Babel, mm -hmm. right? That's where you get the word uh, confusion from. Okay, and it's talking about the modern day Babylon as well, because they all came in the same spirit. Mm -hmm. and look what happens in America, confusion. That's right. That's why the Lord destroyed their ass. I mean, like, what's so different about today? It's going to be the same process, but it's going to be even worse. Keep going. As for our Redeemer, the Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdom. Yeah. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. And thou didst show them no mercy. Mm. Upon the ancient has thou very heavily laid thy name. Right, because they're trying to increase 
um, Social Security, and they trying to prolong the retirement age. Like, damn, this devil, he don't want you to have no type of money at, at, at all. He wants you to work till to, to you drop dead. All right. Keep going. And thou says, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore hear thou this, thou, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that said to thine heart, I am, and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. Right. So, and that's how these Americans think. Like, uh, it, it's never going to come to America, you know. Like, our military is just so great. This and that. I'm Mr. Defenses, blah, 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 right? It's going to come right here. It's going to be the worst ever, you know. And that's pretty much uh, uh, irony, ironic, because what? The scripture says, what? Because of the pride, the city shall be broken up, All right? Go ahead. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. Um, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Right. You ain't, you ain't gonna see it coming. You know, the Lord said you gonna come like a thief in the night. Alright? None of you people are gonna see this coming. Alright? The only people that's gonna see it is who? The elect. The men of the Lord has been watching. Okay. How many more verses? Yeah, go ahead and finish it off for sure. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be that thou mayest be able to profit. If so be thou mayest prevail. Right. Yeah, so, so uh, all you people stand with your witchcraft and your tarot cards and talking to the ancestors and all this other bullshit. Okay. Hey, let's see if let's see if that deliver you. Stand with white Jesus, you know. Stand with Donald Trump, who's probably gonna be the new so-called president, which he ain't gonna even be a president. He's pretty much gonna be a damn Caesar, a king. Okay, keep going. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels, letting out the star, oh, I'm sorry, the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a cold or warm, at, nor fire to sit before them. Thus shall they be unto thee with thou, like with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander to everyone his quarter. None shall save thee. All right, none shall save thee, okay, and yeah, cause I mean, look at, look at the um, the spirit of this place is proud, you know, like when the proud person get knocked out, like a box or whatever, everybody say, hey, that's good for them, mm -hmm. you know, they don't show no mercy, they they be clowning them, you know, and that's how these other nations gonna do uh, America, okay. Go ahead, pick up a title one, Revelation 18, fuck the show. You're going to read that to 12. Nick Rogers, how you pick up? This is book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 1. It reads, And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk, 
have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication with the kings of the earth and committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth will wax rich through the abundance of the delicacy. Right. And you know, all these merchants, uh, Ishmael getting uh, rich, Moab getting rich, they all set up shop in, in whose neighborhoods? The Israelites. Okay. Keep going. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the most high have remembered her iniquities. Yeah. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. Right, so yeah, you eat them much, you about to get double for what you did unto the children of Israel. But don't worry. You're going to have company. All right. You ain't going to be alone because, you know, all you eat might you want to take everybody down with you because you have no hope. You have no salvation because you were vessels that was created to be destroyed and to be an example of how not to live. Okay. Because you, you eat might you've been perfect devils on the planet ever since you it was created. By your how about Shmi Asha, you've done your job. Alright, and you've done it well. No nobody else have done that much wickedness and evil on the planet other than you. Keep going. Verse seven. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. But she saved in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Right. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death. And mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judges her. All right, All right. that thermonuclear fire, keep going. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they see, like when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city. For in one hour is that judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth her merchandise anymore. Yeah. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all fine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious woods and brass and iron and marble. Good. Verse uh, 13, the reason it says, And cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and refined flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men and the fruits of thy, and the fruits that thy soul lusteth after are departed from thee and all things which are which were vanity and goodly are departed from thee. And thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things were, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen, and purple, and scarlet, and decked with gold, and pretty, pretty precious, precious stones, pearls, for in one hour so great riches is come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and many of many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto the great city that and they cast dust from their heads and cried weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Wherein, wherein, wherein were made rich all that sh bad ships in the sea by reason of her costless, costlessness. For in one hour she made destiny. Rejoice over her, thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh had avenged you on her. Right, so and the Lord about to uh, avenge the blood of his saints on this, uh, this, uh, this great whore. You know, it's like a whore that uh like that burn you. You know, she she give you a disease. <laughs> she
she play she play with your mind like promise you she gonna give you certain things and then she up here messing with another dude behind your back all right so come to find out she just lied to you the whole time you know you you trusted in her you had a kid by her come to find out the kid wasn't yours <laughs> you know all these things that you know just um just giving a, a metaphor you know because that's basically how babylon undid us okay that's why the scripture says arise this is not your rest okay this this woman this bitch this whore babylon she ain't for you all right she for everybody all right keep going and it says and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians and pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman of whatsoever craft he, craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of the millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee, for thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. In her way, or sorry, and in her was found the blood of, the, of prophets and of saints, and all that were slain of, upon the earth. All right, so yeah, that's what's going to happen. In these last uh, days, All right. there is no future. I'll uh, go ahead, have a shot. Revelation 11. This is going to read that to 12. Yeah. Matter of fact, I read 11. Um, get Daniel 5 5 and 22. Okay. Revelation 11 and 1, and it reads, And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and an angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of Yahweh and the altar, and them that worship therein. But the court, which is without the temple, leave out, and measure it not, for it was given unto the Gentiles. And the holy city shall tread under forty and two months, which is uh, 350 years. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred three score days clothed in sackcloth. But you know those two witnesses are the northern and southern kingdom, or right, the nation of Israel. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before Yahweh and standing before the, the power of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth. And devour at their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this matter be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them into blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will, right? Because men of the Lord, the Lord gave us that power to uh to, to curse you people. Okay? And an example of that is who? Elisha. When he cussed those um, those children, and those she bears came and ripped them the bastards to shreds. All right. It says, verse seven, and when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them. Right. So Babylon, that's what Jacob, that's Jacob's trouble. Okay, because uh, we are known as what? The prophets of doom in this place. And don't think for a second that these politicians and these governments don't know who we are. They do. They, they study us. Right? And shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right? He was crucified in what? Rome. Ancient Rome. That's when those Caesars was in power. Okay? Just like it is now. And they of the P 
people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets torment them that dwell on the earth. And after three days and a half the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Right. So uh, the elect going to get delivered from this uh, western part of the world. All right. Go ahead. Uh, Daniel 5, starting at the 22nd verse. Daniel chapter 5, starting at the 22nd verse. And thou, his son, O Belshazzar, has not humbled thine heart, though thou knewest all this, but has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou, and thy lords, thy wives, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know, and the God in whose thy breath is, and who, who, in, in whose hand thy breath is. Okay, okay, and Salakia, and the God in who, in whose hand thy breath is, and who are all thy ways, thou has, I'm sorry, the, has thou not glorified? Then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written, and this is the writing that was written. Many, many to kill a parson. Yeah. This is the interpretation of the thing. Many God has numbered thy kingdom. And finish it. Right. Katel, thou art weighed in the balance and are found warranted. Yeah. For rest, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. Right. This, point, uh, this is uh, ancient Babylon. Uh, uh, Belshazzar, Nebuchadnezzar's son. All right. And this is what. Yahweh Bashmi Arashah told him. And you can apply this to modern day Babylon. Okay. So let's look up these words. It's uh, Manah. Which just means, uh, it says a weight of measurement, usually 50 shekels, maybe 60 shekels. So just a weight of measurement. And then you got. It says to kill, but it's really to uh, qual. All right? It's like it. Yes. The qual. This means to be weighed. You got a parson, which is paras, which means to break in half, you know, divide, because even Yahweh Shah said, what a kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. What's that, Matthew 12 and 25? I believe. One second. God. Uh, yep. I got it. And Yahweh shall knew the thoughts and sent unto them. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Right? And that's where we are now. Because <laughs> even with this whole election, you know, everybody is just divided, man. Everybody is divided and you know all over the place, man. Right? And I'm just going to go into a little history and just read this and 
uh, pull one more scripture and then I'll close it up and I can read it. Appreciate you brothers for reading all that. It's Genesis 11 and 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech, right? <laughs> this is the very first Babylon. This is in Meso uh, Mesopotamia. And it came to pass that they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly, that they had brick for stone and slime they had for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth, right? Ain't that? When you go into quote unquote New York City, which is the heart of Babylon, what do you see? You see big buildings. Okay? There's really tall. Alright. It says where I'm at five five kind of. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built it. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. And they have all one language, and this they began to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do, right? So ain't this what Esau Eden doing? You know, English is the universal language now, okay? Because hey, Esau Eden, man, he, he knows these scriptures, and what? It's nothing new under the sun, man. And this is what he's done. This is... And and yeah, how about Shmi Shah stopped it then? How much more so now? All right. Verse seven. Go to let us go down and there confound our language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build a city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord they confound the language of all the earth, and from thence the Lord scattered them abroad upon the face of all the earth, right? So Babel. Right. So Babal. Confusing. Co confusion by mixing. Right? <laughs> we already knew what that was, but Babal. Confusion. End up with this Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun, right? So, yeah, this is the last hurrah for Babylon. It's about to get ready and then so come prepare yourself, Akim. So, we're going to close out. Any other scriptures? Yeah, I was gonna say that it's an article out there that these devils trying to build another tower of Babel. Kind of, yeah. These devils don't learn. <laughs> yeah. They just go to show you the type of attitude that they have towards the Most High. And, but the Most High is gonna show you. He's he gonna show you that he exists. <laughs> Shit, that's that's what his name is. <laughs> he exists. Mm -hmm. God, he gonna show he gonna show all you people that. Don't believe. Start starting off with you, you damn Edomites, which he created you in the first place. So you pretty much playing right into his hand anyway, All right? But no closing scriptures. All right. So with that, we hope that was edifying, and we like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kapodash. We want to say Shalom and the Bible Ball. Bible Ball.